Evernote is on its way to proving to be a pioneer in the note-taking and productivity space. The new Evernote has brought an excellent transformation since the last couple of years. The Evernote team under the leadership of Ian Small is committed to providing some innovative features to all of their apps across different platforms and also improving upon them as they get user feedback. So the new Evernote for iOS has brought in a streamlined navigation, improved note editor, a new note button, managing your tasks and to-dos, and a faster search. In addition, they have added a few new controls since the time I did my last one, which was seven best Evernote features of Evernote iOS. I will leave a link below in case you wish to check it out once again. Let's talk about a few settings on your iOS device that you might have missed. But before that, feel free to subscribe to our channel and give us a like if you're enjoying such videos and support us to make more like these. You must have seen the way we access the plus button or some people called as adding a new note or a new task button at the bottom of your screen in the new Evernote. This is also called the split button and it can give you different options of creating a note or a task and many more different alternatives. Let's listen to how Ian Small and his team worked on this. So let's take a look at the create button. So I'm into my iOS device and let me go into Evernote and uh, I'm going to talk about the different settings for the new button, which you can see all the way down on the bottom. So right now, if I hit the new button, I see all these different options coming over there. Now let's see how did I do it and also look into the different options that are available. So the best way is to swipe and go to this uh, menu bar. On the top right, you'll see settings. And once you're in the settings, you have multiple options out there. Today, we are going to use the create button option, which is the third one from the top. Hit that button. Now you see there are various different alternatives for us to use this create button. I'm going to start with the default one, which is available in the free version. And rest of them, I suppose, is in the premium version. And I am a premium user anyways. So let's use the default one. So I use the default. Now, I've already selected the six different options. I do have the liberty of deselecting them and just use the note and task one if I don't want the rest of them. But in this case, let me use the camera, the scan, the sketch, and the audio. So I've selected these six, I'll save changes. And now once I go over there, in the new button, I see all these different options available for me. And that really skyrockets my productivity. So let's say I'm in a meeting or I'm talking to someone and I want to draw something and show it to them. So I, I can come over here and start drawing something, whatever, or maybe a phone number out here. I can do that. And then done. And that will save into my uh, notes uh, application, which is Evernote. So if you want to see what I did just now, I can go to notes and there it is, right? Now let's go back and uh, go to settings once again. Go to the create button like we did it earlier. And let's try selecting something else. Let's try what is Crescent. Once I go to Crescent, you can see the animation on the top, the way the animation is working. There are different modes of the animation. You can select that. And let's say I, I want to do this. 
So I select scan, sketch, audio, template, attachment. Now in this case, you can select eight. I save the changes and now I can use this and you see all the options are available. So it's, it's pretty magical the way Evernote has done all these uh, customization to the settings. Um, I would like to go back once more to my settings, uh, create button. Now you can play around with all these different options if you are a premium member, otherwise you can stick with your default one. Even the default one, you can go to these different animations and select accordingly, right? So if you, if I save the changes out here, I get these options always available. I don't have to hit the plus icon because that is missing now. All these notes, tasks, and camera is available right in front of you. Keep trying and I'm sure you'll like it. Thanks for being a part of this video. I will leave the link to all my Evernote videos below. Do check them out. And finally, feel free to leave your comments, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you're new to NextGen Digital. And I will see you soon. Have a productive week.